The iPad second generation, created by Apple in 2011, was one of the most game-changing tablets of its time. It was noticeably slimmer and lighter, introduced front and rear cameras for the first time, and received twice as many years of iOS updates compared to the iPad 1. These improvements kept it being sold in retail for almost three years, even as newer models of iPad came out, the iPad 2 was still being sold. But hidden deep within Apple's engineering process was a version of the iPad 2 that almost no one knew existed. For years, it was nothing more than a rumor, a myth that was quickly debunked as fake due to just how absurd the idea was. But it ended up being true. Hello everyone, Apple Demo here, and today we're going to take a look at the unreleased 8GB model of iPad 2. Back in 2011, when Apple originally introduced the iPad second generation, it only shipped in 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte capacities. But later in 2012, Apple revised the iPad second generation when the third generation was released. But this new revised iPad 2 only ever shipped with 16 gigabytes of storage. But at the time, it was rumored that Apple was considering making an ultra budget 8 gigabyte iPad 2 which now leads us to this unreleased iPad prototype. Upon looking at the engraved capacity pill on the back, we can see that this iPad clearly is indeed the unreleased 8GB model. And looking below that, we can see that the model number, EMC, FCC ID, and IC numbers are all X'd out, as is common on Apple prototypes. Taking a look at the asset tag on the back of the iPad, we can see that there are some Chinese characters, but it reads Hong Fujin, Precision Electronics Chengdu Co. Limited, which is essentially a Foxconn subsidiary. We can also see the asset numbers and the serial number of this iPad. And upon decoding the serial number, it indicates that this iPad was manufactured on week 51 of 2011, which is quite odd considering that the iPad 2,4, or the later revision of iPad 2, is often referred to as the 2012 iPad 2. And I do actually own quite a number of iPad 2 first revision or 2011 model prototypes, and I can confirm that none of those ones are 8GB, but I'll be going into these prototypes in another video. But now, let's take a look at the software of this iPad. As we can see from the boot up screen, this iPad is indeed a K93 AAP iPad, which is essentially an iPad 2,4 which is the 2012 model of iPad 2. Also, the build style of iBoot is development, showing that it has a prototype version of iOS installed. And the CPFM, or the fusing of the Apple chip inside of this iPad, is 01, showing that it is indeed development fused. And just for good measure, I plugged in the iPad to some internal Apple development tools and verified that the storage chip, or the NAND inside of this iPad, actually is 8 gigabytes and it's not like some 16 gigabyte iPad that's in an eight gigabyte shell. Now, in terms of the operating system of this iPad, it runs non-UI, also known as Switchboard, which essentially is Apple's internal testing software, which is why a lot of the quote unquote apps on the home screen have such weird icons. But while we watch a short demonstration of the prototype software, let's take a step back for a second and revisit the whole issue, which is, why would Apple even make an 8GB iPad 2? And why did they end up not making it? With the release of iOS 5 came iCloud, which at the time, and similar to times today, was highly incentivized to be used by Apple as a cloud storage solution. So if you already planned on using iCloud to store most of your photos and videos and other data, then maybe an 8GB iPad could get you by. This iPad could have also been useful for the education market, or if someone just really, really, really didn't care about having a lot of storage, but really, really, really wanted a budget iPad. But given how at the time, streaming services weren't as common, and iPads were meant for storing videos and movies, and generally just having a lot of apps like iPhoto, iMovie, and GarageBand installed, it would have very quickly resulted in that storage is almost full notification. And because this was a rumor at the time, there was a lot of people in the comment sections of news articles basically explaining how bad it would be if Apple made an 8GB iPad. There were people calling an 8GB iPad useless, people saying that an 8GB iPad wouldn't even make sense as there would only be around 6GB for data, 
people saying that it would just straight up be a dumb move if Apple did that. People thinking that not only would they introduce an 8GB iPad 2, but they would also not introduce a 64GB iPad 3 due to iCloud taking over. And some people just saying that the rumors are straight up false and asking for them to be deleted. And the thing is, a lot of these comments are actually validated because an 8GB iPad would be abysmal. Which of course, as history shows, Apple didn't end up going forward with the 8GB iPad 2. And for over 13 years, the rumor that Apple would even consider making an 8GB iPad was just forgotten. But it did end up being true. Apple did make an 8GB iPad prototype that went through its development pipeline, but eventually got scrapped. But more than that, for over 13 years, there was not a shred of proof that Apple actually considered making the 8GB iPad. It was just a long forgotten rumor. But now, there's an actual device that exists that proves that Apple did consider making it. An alternate timeline where devices have less storage and cloud computing is a lot more focused on than it is now. Or of course, everyone is getting pissed off at Apple for having a very low gigabyte capacity on a device. But that's the thing. We'll never actually know what would have happened if Apple had released an eight gigabyte iPad. But the fact that I managed to get my hands on this and show it to you all and prove that this was an actual idea that they had is just amazing. And ultimately, that's why I love making these videos, to show you all these devices that otherwise would have just sat in either some storage warehouse or would have just been sitting in someone's collection. I love showing these devices to the world and showing what could have been instead of what was. And even though quite definitively, making an eight gigabyte iPad would have been a bad idea, both from a buying it in terms of a consumer standpoint and Apple just making it, it doesn't discount the blood, sweat, and tears that goes into making these devices. And being able to hold these devices that you know an Apple engineer worked on and used to help develop a tremendously successful product, is just a different experience. And I do apologize, I haven't made a post like this in quite a while, but I do have quite a backlog of devices and I'm gonna slowly start trickling them out more often. And of course I do love making these videos, so be on the lookout for them. And with that, that's about it for the 8GB iPad. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, share it, or even leave a comment as those really help motivate me to continue to create more content just like this. And do you own any rare Apple devices or prototypes? Leave a comment and let me know what you have because I really love hearing about your collections too. Anyways, I'll see you on the next one.